everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first video of the new year. This one is going to be a little challenge and I thought it would be a good way to start off the year. In this video I'm going to be eating what Instagram has decided for me to eat. What I'm going to do is choose options for breakfast, dinner and tea of things that I still won't allow myself to eat still fear and always avoid. I'm gonna really challenge myself with this. I've really realised that I am very much in quasi recovery and it's the worst place to be stuck and I don't want to be in this position any more than what I need to be and the only way of getting out of it is by actually going through it. I put a poll on Instagram last night for the breakfast that I'm going to be having. There was four different options. I'll put it all on the screen here now as well so you can see which one and what votes were voted for for each one. The options were Pano chocolate which is one that still terrifies me because every time I think of Pano chocolate I get the image of the label of the packaging in my head with the numbers and that's just not, that's not how I should be living and I shouldn't be letting that control my decisions of what I eat and what I don't eat. And then the second one was two pieces of bread with chocolate spread and third one was two crumpets with chocolate spread. My dad has been trying to get me to eat crumpets for so long <laughs> now and I just haven't done it but I don't know why. The last one was two waffles with yogurt, honey and fruit and the last one, the waffles, has won. So that's what I'm going to be having tomorrow morning for my breakfast. Just hope that you're all doing well and I'm sending so much love as always and I just hope that you can also overcome some fears and start and challenge these foods because if you never do it, it's never going to get done and you are literally going to be living your life this way for the rest of your life and that's something that's really hitting home to me now is it makes me want to cry but I am just getting older I mean obviously I'm getting older we all are every day I'm just getting really terrified now at the amount of time that I have wasted amount of time that I'm still continuing to waste to an eating disorder that's controlling every aspect of my life still I need to make some changes and I need to get uncomfortable so that is the goal for this year I hope you enjoy watching and yeah let's go and challenge this Hello everyone and good morning. I am going to challenge my breakfast this morning now. I actually should have done this yesterday but I couldn't bring myself to do it. Here I am today, going to give it a go and I hope you enjoy watching. This is the first challenge, there's going to be more to come so let's make these waffles and let's enjoy them because I am absolutely starving. <laughs> a close-up actually just before I eat. Here we go. Waffles, banana, blueberry, raspberries and honey. I'll be completely honest now, my brain was trying to do everything possible to not have two waffles and only have one. I've put up that five now and I've said no, we are having two waffles because one would not be enough and we're never going to get over this unless we actually challenge these things. So let's enjoy. I hope I like it. It's actually sending my head a bit crazy because it looks so big and it's not what I would usually eat. It's something that has been in the freezer for a long time. I've been hoarding food again and not challenging it. So I'm gonna time lapse this now. This is proof that you can challenge the food. I'm actually finding this a lot harder than what I thought, but I'm determined to finish it all. It's possible to keep pushing through and it will get easier. I have completed 
all of the waffles and the yogurt and the fruit. My brain is a bit like, oh, you should have had one, you shouldn't have had two. Now you're going to have to do this because you've done that. I'm going to try. No, I'm not going to try. I am going to go against what my brain is telling me now and saying that because I've had two waffles, then I can't have this later or I have to have less of this when I have that. You know how it goes, but the only way that you're going to actually get out of this is by not giving in and not doing them compensatory behaviours because by doing this challenge if I then go and compensate that just takes away from the challenge and you'll just remain stuck you won't actually go anywhere and I've done this time and time and time again and I am fed up of making the same mistakes and fed up of being stuck in the same place and fed up of not living my life. That was breakfast complete. I'm going to come up with some ideas for dinner or you might say lunch and I will post them on my Instagram and then I will let you know what Instagram decides for dinner. Hello everyone, it's the next challenge now and... I didn't mean to do that. The next one is gonna be this one won by an absolute mile. I'm gonna put it on the screen anyway so you can see. This one was for tea but you might say dinner so let's say dinner to not confuse things. The options were chicken burger, southern fried chicken wrap and fries, pasta or beans on toast. My eating disorder wanted the beans on toast because to me that's a safer option however everybody went and did me dirty but let's say everybody did me a favor everybody chose southern fried chicken wrap and fries so that's what i'm gonna make tonight i am gonna make my own sweet potato fries not because of any disordered thoughts but just because I genuinely really love nutrition i just believe that when you actually cook something yourself it's so much nicer than just buying a bag of frozen stuff that's got additives in it. It's not a disordered way, it's just genuine preference and something that I enjoy doing. Being aware of ingredients that are in food is important. Now I'm not saying that in recovery it's important but I just think in general it's good to have an understanding of different ingredients and what different food does for your body if that makes sense but yeah i just wanted to express that it's important to listen to how you feel and what food makes you feel a certain way the benefits of having good ingredients in your body is so important in so many different ways i'm gonna do a voiceover over this next bit because the rest of the video kind of didn't go how i wanted it to go but anyway here i am i'm just chopping up some sweet potato and let me just tell you something these sweet potatoes turned out to be the worst sweet potato fries I have ever tried in my life. Anyway, I did manage to have the wrap with the fries and the breaded chicken. Breaded chicken is still something that really scares me, but I'm so proud of myself for actually doing this. And yeah, this part did go to plan. I mean, I was really not in the best mood or frame of mind. That's why I've just kind of done a voiceover. I haven't actually managed to do the last thing that I should have done, which was something from a bakery. I did go to a bakery this afternoon, but there just really wasn't anything that I fancied, or at least there wasn't, there was, <laughs> there was something that I fancied, but my eating disorder was just doing everything to kind of brush it off and not actually do it. I am really annoyed with myself for letting them voices take over and letting the thoughts control what I decide and what I did. I really haven't been recovering how you should recover and I just wanted to end this video on a bit of an honest note and just talk about some things that I think are really real when you're in recovery now obviously there is no right or wrong way to recover however i do feel that some of the things that you see on social media really do make it seem like it's a lot easier than what it actually is for me some of them really hard parts still are the thoughts and behaviours that I have around exercise which is why I'm going to make more of a video in a bit more depth about that because I feel that it needs to be spoken about a lot more than what it is. If I can make anybody feel less alone and less like they are a failure in recovery for still struggling and not being able to 
get anywhere, then that's what I want to do because I know how lonely and how awful it is to be stuck where you are in quasi recovery and just really not have that not so much motivation because the motivation is there like there's nothing more than I want to than to move forward and to get out of this mess and to just fully nutritionally rehabilitate and I know that I still got a long way to go until I get there. I just know that it's not going to happen overnight and this is where it becomes difficult because you can literally please your eating disorder by saying oh but it won't happen overnight and it's not going to happen that fast but the brutal reality of it is that I could have been out of this months ago and I've still chosen to obey rules and certain things that I've been doing because it's been influenced still by the eating disorder. I'm not beating myself up for that, but I know that I've got a lot of growth, a lot of work that needs to be done. I'm really gonna have to try and find something to really give me this push and reason to keep on going and I'm going to try and document this now as much as I can and I'm going to be brutally honest through all of it, especially with the exercise too and just everything else that's been going on. My little heart, soul and body is just screaming out and I just don't know what to do. I know that there's probably a lot of people feeling the same. I'll properly start recovery next week or, or I'll, I'll just get to the end of this month and then and then I'll do it and then I'll I'll really start and try and gain some weight but I'll I'll do it after the summer or I'll do it after I've been on holiday or I'll do it when when it's been this event or I'll do it after this or I'll I'll start tomorrow and then every single day is passing by and nothing has changed and nothing is going to change unless something changes like nothing will change if nothing changes and this this is living proof of that like i am evidently showing that by not actually changing things or by changing things but then taking away other things from somewhere else it's just leaving you in the same place and that's exactly what I'm doing and I'm just so stuck and I'm so fed up and I don't want to cry so I'm gonna stop talking yeah I just wanted to share that because it, it, the right time will never come and you will just live your life this way and you will end up being older and looking back and regretting all that time. Sorry that this is really brutal, but it's very true and it's very serious at the same time. So yeah, <laughs> I'm sending so much love. I really am and my heart genuinely aches for myself and for anybody else who's having to endure this. Keep fighting and never give up. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for sticking around. If you do have any ideas, any tips or any videos that you do want to see, then please let me know and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye! Yeah.